but some folks only need the gift of family being present with them. Of course, there are those from broken homes who will still seek holiday cheer. We have one father-son team here who's trying to do the best they can to help make that happen. Let's welcome Doug and Ian Tweedy. Thanks so much for being here. Now, you guys are part of a bike team called Velocause Cycling. First, Ian, why don't you tell us about some of the things you guys do as father and son part of this team? Well, we, uh, we just um, kind of help out all around. And we um, just, just go everywhere together. It's really cool how we just have that kind of like bond. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And, and Doug, uh, what is it that you hope to get out of just the cycling together first? A uh, father-son relationship and then with the team helping the community as much as we can. Right. It's called Team Bella Cause. So what kind of causes do you work for? Uh, we do. We help with the Meta House in Milwaukee, which is a shelter for women that are going through some issues. Um, so we donate money. We provide them with meals, uh, cook their food, bring them food, serve them food uh, in October. And now we're working with Children's Hospital for a toy drive. Right. And let's talk about that toy drive. Ian, this is something that the team has been working on. Um, tell us about it. Who does it benefit and what do you enjoy about it? Well, it benefits the kids there in the hospital. They don't like, it's just cool to give them presents because they're kind of like in the hospital for reasons and it's kind of to give them hope and stuff. And it, it's really cool to me because you just get to give people, it's like, this makes you feel good on the inside to give people that have like less than you at times to give them presents. Right, no doubt about that. And, and Doug, you work in public safety. We're not just talking about those kids maybe who have some illnesses. These are kids from broken homes. Right, these are kids that have been going through traumatic times. It could be child abuse, sexual assaults of children. And they go through Children's Hospital, a child advocacy center that uh, interviews probably about 2,400 kids a year. Um, so when they go through their treatment and their exam and a forensic interview, they're allowed to get uh, presents and uh, this time of year is more important for them. So real quick, if people want to help, what can they do? Where can they bring the toys? Well, they could go to the Milwaukee Cycling Center in the city of Glendale on Port Washington Road. They could go to our website, uh, velacause.org, or the Children's Advocacy Center, the Ch Child Protection Center website to okay. get information. All right, and of course we have a lot more about all this stuff on TMJ4.com. Guys, wonderful having you and what a great project. All right, thank Thanks you. Thanks very thank much, you. absolutely. Well,